It can either destroy you or make you stronger. In one of my previous videos, I already told you how the system can help you to achieve your goals. And now I want to tell you how it can become a serious problem on your way up. Listen, there are no universal tools. Everything has its own downside and the system is not an exception. Being in it always makes it much easier for you to stay productive because in any moment of time you know what next step to take and how to do this. You have a plan mm. in your head, there are proven strategies and methods and you just need to stick to them. But many people have a negative attitude to the system. They remember all these movies, you know, like Matrix, where the system is the main evil. They are afraid to become such robots who work tirelessly until they get exhausted. And there is some truth in it. The only difference between trap and useful tool is that in the second case you create the system yourself, customizing it. If you yourself develop a sequence of steps that work ideally for you, that's an amazing approach. And this is exactly what I was talking about in this video before, so be sure to watch it, but only after you complete this video. Well, now I want to warn you about three dangers that this foreign system prepared for you and that are better to avoid. The first danger is that goals that you are pushing, they are not actually yours. To begin with, let's decide what kind of system we are talking about. It's very important to understand before we start. Employment, social values that you don't agree with, debt hole. I'm talking about all this stuff. So in 90% of cases being in one of them, you are not acting in your interest. Working on a hire, you act as a tool that has its own usability and almost never goes beyond it. There are many good companies that take care of their employees, they provide them with good interesting work, social benefit package, and so on, I don't argue it. But in any case, each employee is just a small cog in their big mechanism. Nobody is irreplaceable. Yes, they care about you, but only while you are useful and do what they require. Just think, people go to work by decades developing someone else's business. It seems reliable for them, they feel safe. Do you really think that what company gives them, it's enough? Do you think they don't want to have more? I doubt it very much, but for most it's very scary they think it's very dangerous to take a step outside their comfort zone that keeps them in one place. By the way, the comfort zone is also the system that keeps us frozen. But in this case, actually it's unique because in this case we create the system ourselves. Maybe unconsciously, but still. Trying to reach someone else's goals, you lose your personality. You stop acting in your own interest in exchange of money. You trade your life, your time and sometimes even your benefits to get paid once a month. Remember what you dreamt of as a child. About this, I really doubt it. For instance, when I was a small kid, I dreamt to become a billionaire and sooner or later, I'm sure I'll reach this goal. This desire is caused by my own interest. I love this, you know, non-stop moving, a lot of work. When you have to do something because you have a plan, I mean the plan that you created by yourself. So this is reasonable for me to have such a goal. I'm ready to meet all my defeats, all my victories. And you know, this particular path is something that I was faithful for many years. So in the future, I'll tell you more about my goals. You will say, but Kirill, listen, your desire is imposed by society, by books and movies that you were reading and watching when you was a child. Yes, I agree with this. It's unlikely that I would be able to understand who the billionaire is, what's his life, if I spent all my life somewhere in an Amazon forest and didn't see the civilization. But this is the path that I personally chose for myself. I like it and I'm going to it. Think about where are you right now? Are you acting in your own interest or maybe in the interest of the system? How much does conventional wisdom influence you? Listen, it's almost always wrong. Often this is just a set of old truths that already lost their relevance. Just go beyond your mindset. Try to take a look at what you currently do. Will you be proud of yourself in, let's say, 50 years? Try to answer you honestly. Are you making your personal goals closer or maybe you are chasing someone else's? You know, either you'll understand the answer right now by your own or the life will show you later. But I'll repeat it once again. If you are following the system that you created by your own, according to your coordinates, most likely in your life is everything okay. Just stay at the wheel and steer, but keep your eyes open and don't miss the iceberg. There will be many of them. The second danger. You just relax and stop thinking going beyond. Let's analyze this point using an example of living with parents. I'm sure you'll find a lot of analogies here. While you live with them, most likely they take care of you and help you with all this necessary stuff. 
They save you from any inconveniences. And that's great, it's always nice to have people who love and appreciate you, right? Yes, but don't expect it will be forever. Have you seen people who are 40 years old but they still live with their mother and totally depend on her help? These are the people who don't follow my channel. Remember, if the system gives you the opportunity to relax, this is a big red flag. When you're relaxed, you're the most vulnerable. Always think critically and don't stop moving. Don't get lost in the comfort, it almost never leads you to success. No pain, no gain. The growth only comes with an effort. You can get better if you're always staying high. When you'll move from your parents, you'll feel how more independent you become. You'll feel more mature. You'll get out of the system that kept child inside you. Yes, it will be difficult, but that's the point. Difficult deeds harden you and open doors that always have been closed. You do it through effort, but you'll be rewarded. Stop expecting the help from the system that you didn't develop yourself. It could be a trap. Always look at yourself from the outside and stay open-minded. Even if your mother and friends they tell you that everything is okay, trust yourself. Honestly, answer the question, where will I be in one year if I continue to act as I do now? Let your mind go beyond the limits that already became comfortable. Start from a small effort on yourself. Do you remember about the third-person mode? It will help you on your way. I'm talking about it in this video. Check it. I have a very clear indicator that works in 100% of cases. If I feel too relaxed, I get alerted. Like anybody else, I love the comfort, but everything has its own limits, right? So healthy and tasty food, good infrastructure around you, interest in your life, I'm not talking about this stuff. Such stuff it should be in the life of every successful person, I believe so. It's like a reward for moving forward despite difficulties. But if suddenly I'll ignore my alarm in the morning, if I'll have enough time to scroll the phone in the Instagram feed, I'll feel that it's dangerous now, something's happening. I know that if nothing is done, I'll fall into this big black hole and right after realizing I'll take action, I'll break the ice. Don't let the system give you the opportunity to lose your vigilance and become a zombie that doesn't want to grow. You will face it. It's a trap designed for mice who love free cheese. But you and I, we take the victory into our own hands. And the third danger, you lose your identity. If you take a fresh banana and put it on the sun, in one week, it will look like a mummy. That's the quite funny analogy, but it will show you what will become with you if you succumb to, you know, false benefits of someone else's system. It will change your personality and after some time, you just won't be able to recognize yourself. You will be lost and become different. You will look at that person and notice only differences in character and way of thinking with yourself today. The good question is where is the young banana and where is its dried version? I believe when you will face this question, the answer will not please you. Listen, the most valuable asset we have is ourselves. You can do anything unless you don't have these limits and unnecessary thoughts, unnecessary beliefs that are imposed inside of your head from the outside. It's like a just installed operating system. As long as it doesn't have viruses, it works properly. But once a peer, they add some unnecessary files, programs to auto run and steal your personal data. I like to use analogies. I think they can better explain my ideas and hope that they are accurate enough. These changes, they won't be noticeable in the very beginning. You'll think that the system it gives you a lot of conveniences for exchange of almost nothing. But don't get fooled. Personality change starts from several small steps and almost in any case grows exponentially. For this reason, you almost never notice the effect right away. Just like people that don't notice the effect of inflation of a living standards. I had some situations in my life when my personality started to change because of the environment, the pressure of it and different circumstances. I can say that each of them is critical. You have a risk to lose yourself and become a different person. It's paramountly important to notice it as early as possible and just honestly say to yourself, man, that's bad, you're in a trap and try to pull yourself out of this hole. Just take action, do what it takes to become stronger. Almost always it will be very difficult, but it's necessary. And again, I'll repeat it. If you yourself develop a system that helps you to consciously develop, this is a different stuff. Here you become the architect, you create all the rules, you develop all the instructions. This is something that you have to strive for. If you are watching this video, most likely you are inside a system that doesn't suit you. Stay strong. The vast majority of people, they want to change their life. And that's right. 
you need to strive for growth and development. But here the question arises, does everyone has enough strength to make this first step and to overcome the gravity? I believe yes, if you're aware of the problem and really want changes to come, you definitely can do this, but the right attitude is needed. It's one thing to make this first effort and another one to act consciously, consistently changing your course. This is something worth learning and this is exactly the thing that you would be proud of in 50 years telling to your grandchildren about your way. So, as you can see, the system is like a double-edged blade. It can hurt you, but it can reward you as well. The reward awaits those who know how to get maximum out of it, but the punishment is waiting for people who don't want to turn on their head. Be careful when life requires less of force in order to keep doing what you do. And always ask yourself a question, am I guided by my own desires or there are some viruses in my head. Guys, thank you so much for watching my videos. I highly appreciate that you know that. So if you like this video, give me your like. If you don't, give me your dislike. Follow my channel and see you tomorrow, guys. Thank you.